Hi folks, this is Alan, and I'm back with another movie review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the 2017 film adaptation of the old classic Agatha Christie mystery novel from 1934, Murder on the Orient Express. This one starring and directed by Kenneth Branagh, who plays the lead role of Inspector Perot, who's on board a train trying to solve a murder mystery. Um, the plot of Murder on the Orient Express, it's uh, pretty basic. Uh, Detective Perot, played by Branna, he's on a train, he's just finished a case, he wants some downtime, but unfortunately on the train, Perot stuck on this train with a whole bunch of other people, and um, somebody gets killed. And now Perot has to go into action and solve the mystery. That's basically the plot. <laughs> it's as simple as simple can be. It's a whodunit on board a train uh, in uh, Murder on the Orient Express. Now, um, I confess, I have not seen the 1974 film version of Murder on the Orient Express uh, that starred Albert Finney in the role of Perot. And uh, apparently, uh, the earlier film version actually got Agatha Christie's royal seal of approval because Agatha Christie herself was not particularly fond of uh, film adaptations of her books. Although, according to Wikipedia, she gave a reluctant approval <laughs> to the 1974 version of Murder on the Orient Express, saying to her biographer that she thought the film was, at the very least, well made. But that's the 1974 film version of uh, Murder on the Orient Express. I haven't seen the 1974 version, but um, I'll tell you, this new version, this 2017 version of Murder on the Orient Express, definitely makes me want to go back and look at the 1974 version, which I will do. And maybe I might even review it, review it for you on my channel uh, at a later date. But uh, I have not read the original novel by Agatha Christie. I have not seen that celebrated 1974 film version. Uh, there have also been a couple of uh, television adaptations uh, that were done of this classic Agatha Christie murder mystery. So Kenneth Branagh's 2017 film version of Murder on the Orient Express is my very first exposure to this classic murder mystery. And I have to admit, overall, I really enjoyed it. Um, I won't say it's brilliant, but uh, I think it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's entertaining. I think that's what I'm trying to say. I think it, it's, it's very, very entertaining. And I enjoyed it. Uh, the cast is a cast totally to die for. That was one of the things that hooked me into going to see this movie. I can't say no to a cast like this. First of all, Kenneth Branagh as Perot. Kenneth Branagh is one of my all-time favorite actors. And although he did appear in a supporting role earlier this year in the Christopher Nolan film Dunkirk, it's really great to see Branagh once again playing a, a lead role. And uh, so along with Kenneth Branagh, you've got other great people like, uh, let's see, shall I go down the list? You've got Penelope Cruz, you've got Willem Dafoe, Judy Dench, Johnny Depp, Josh Gad, Derek Jacoby, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, da Daisy Ridley. Um, you know, it, I mean, it's a big cast. It's a big, huge cast, big, huge all-star cast uh, that are alongside Branagh. And um, I really enjoyed the film. I mean... Like I said, I can't compare it to the 1974 version, you guys. I haven't seen the 1974 version. But I think what Kenneth Branagh and company did with this film version was really, really entertaining stuff. Uh, first of all, the film looks great. I love the whole sets on the train. The train itself, the insides of the train with all the tables and the, 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 the chairs and, 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 and uh, the wooden panels and all that. I mean, the train itself looks absolutely immaculate. I mean, this is one train you would definitely want to ride on. It's a beautiful train. Um, so the, the train sets are terrific. There's, some, there's a little bit of location work in here that's also uh, well done. Uh, the costumes are great. Um... But what really drives this story, I, I think, uh, is the great acting from everybody on display. Although it could be argued, I know, and some critics have pointed this out, that uh, at the very least, this 2017 film version uh, of Murder on the Orient Express is basically the Perot show. That basically it focuses on star and director Kenneth Branagh as Perot. Um, yeah, okay. So it's, it's the Perot show, but... I don't care. <laughs> Again, I'm a Kenneth Branagh fan, okay? So I'm I'm happy to uh, for for Branagh to get the spotlight in this film. I mean, Perot is, for all intents and purposes, the central character of the story, is he not? He's the one who's going around trying to solve the mystery. I know this film has been criticized. Uh, some other critics have said that all the other characters are basically just reduced to supporting characters. 
Yeah, they are. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> they say, well, we don't really get to know all these people that are on board the train with the lone exception of Perot. Yeah, and uh, Perot doesn't really know them that well either. <laughs> and uh, so you and Perot are in the same boat. You as the viewer and as Perot, you're on the same boat. No, we don't know these characters all that well. But Perot still has to get on that train and do his job and solve the mystery. So for me personally, uh, I was right alongside uh, Kenneth Branagh's Perot as he's going around and, and uh, uh, questioning the other people on board the train to, uh, to try and solve the mystery. Um, I think the supporting players, um, the, the all-star cast, they do what they can with what, whatever screen time that they get. And even though their screen time is, you know, so, some of them get more screen time than others, but I think every single actor in this film who's not Kenneth Branagh went into this film knowing that, okay, I'm playing a supporting role. You know, I'll get I'll get a moment or two to, to strut my stuff, but, you know, not much more than that. Um, you know, Branna's the star, okay? Uh, but that's okay, you know. <laughs> I want to be in the movie anyway. So everybody in the All-Star cast, um, they're all playing supporting roles, all these people on board the train with Perot, but they do what they can, and when they do get their moment or two to shine, I think they shine, you know, and they do what they can. Are, are there any standouts for me? Um, one standout... Uh, I'm very happy to say, is Johnny Depp, who plays the character of Ratchet. And uh, although overall I like Johnny Depp, it has been said about Johnny Depp that he more or less plays the same character over and over and over again in all the movies he appears in. This is a very different uh, performance from Johnny Depp. He's very much more subdued. He's serious. And, you know, he's not playing his typical goofy Johnny Depp character that we see in all the Tim Burton films or as Captain Jack in Pirates of the Caribbean, although I did like him very much in that first Pirates of the Caribbean movie, especially. But here is a very different Johnny Depp, and he gives a very, very strong supporting performance. I wouldn't mind Johnny Depp getting an Oscar nomination for his performance here as, as Ratchet. I do think he's very good. A very, very different Johnny Depp than I've ever seen before in any of his other movies, even though his part is basically just a supporting role. But nonetheless, he's very good. So Johnny Depp, I tip my hat to you. Of course, I have to tip my hat to Kenneth Branagh as Perot. I mean, again, Branagh, he's one of my all-time favorite actors. I love his film versions of uh, Hamlet and uh, Henry V. Um... He's a, he's, a, he's a wonderful actor. He's a magnificent actor. Not that every single film he's done has been great. I mean, that, that musical Busby Berkeley version of Love's Labor's Lost. Ken, what were you thinking? <laughs> but more often than not, I think he's wonderful. And uh, I think he's a terrific Perot. I haven't seen Albert Finney's version of Perot. I haven't seen any other actor's version of Perot. So I've only seen Branagh's version. But I think Branagh is just so wonderfully commanding. And he's just so wonderfully entertaining to watch. Um, as Perot. And by the way, that mustache that everybody picks on, you know, it's a really long mustache. It's a very unique mustache, but it, it doesn't come off his face like this, which a lot of people seem to think. It, it stays on his face, okay? It's not out like this, okay? It's like this, okay? <laughs> it stays on his face, and it's a nice-looking mustache, and Branagh wears it well. And uh, yeah, Excellent performance of Kenneth Branagh. I'd love to see Kenneth Branagh get an Oscar nomination for his performance here as Perot. I think he's he's wonderful in the role. Everybody else in the supporting cast, I think, is great in their moments to shine. Like I said, Johnny Depp was the big standout for me. But, of course, Penelope Cruz, Willem Dafoe, Judi Dench, Joss Gad, Derek Jacoby, Michelle Pfeiffer, the wonderful Michelle Pfeiffer. It's great to see her in a movie again. I don't think I've seen Michelle Pfeiffer in a film since that not-so-great film adaptation of A Midsummer Night's Dream that also had uh, Callista Flockhart in it and Stanley Tucci. Wasn't impressed with that film version. I think that was the last movie I saw Michelle Pfeiffer in, so it's great to see Michelle Pfeiffer again. Still a lovely lady, still very lovely after all these years, and uh, still a, a very, very fine actress. Daisy Ridley, getting away from Star Wars for a little while <laughs> in the role of uh, Mary Debenham. Uh... She looks great. She does a really good acting job uh, uh, alongside Branna and all these other big stars. And uh, yeah, th there's no doubt in my mind Daisy Ridley will most definitely have a wonderfully successful acting career away from Star Wars when she's finally finished with the Star Wars films. But it's great to see her in another movie uh, for a change. Although, looking forward to seeing her again in Star Wars The Last Jedi. Um, it's a great ensemble cast. Uh, great acting from everybody. 
Um, again, ha the, the handsome train set, the great production design. Brana directs very, very expertly. His direction here is really, really tight. Um, oh, and another thing I appreciated, appreciated about uh, this film version of Murder on the Orient Express, the ending. I won't spoil it, but I'll just say it took me by surprise. You know, the, the big reveal of who was the killer. I certainly wasn't expecting it, you know, what the big reveal is. And, uh, you know, I enjoyed it. You know, I, I, I liked it. It came as a, as a wonderful surprise to me. And it, and it shed, you know, it, it, gave, it gave an extra emotional layer to the story. So it's not just a whodunit of, okay, Perot has to pick out who the killer is. Okay, you're the killer. There's a little more to it than that uh, when, when you get to the end and, and the big reveal happens. Uh, and I like that. It, it took me by surprise in a very, very good, delightful way. And it added an extra emotional dimension to the story, which I appreciated. Um, so yes, you guys, you got very handsome production design. Um, uh, again, wonderful cast, great acting from everybody. Um, I think Kenneth Branagh's direction is great. His performance in the lead as Perot is great. All the supporting players are great, even though they don't get as much screen time as Perot, as, as Kenneth Branagh, and even though we don't know these characters particularly well, but that's okay, in my opinion, because Perot doesn't know them all that well either. Um, but I do think it's a, it's a very entertaining murder mystery. Um, it's my very first exposure to this classic Agatha Christie uh, tale, and um, it makes me want to go and look at the 1974 film version. Um, and who knows, I may review it for you at a later date. But overall, I think this is very solid entertainment. I won't say it's a perfect film, I won't say it's brilliant, but I think it's a very entertaining time at the movies. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing it again. I wouldn't mind buying it on DVD either. Um, I liked it. I enjoyed it very, very much. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give Kenneth Branagh's 2017 version of Murder on the Orient Express, I'm going to give it a very solid 7 out of 10. I'll give it a high 7 out of 10. I was tempted to go for 8, but I figured, well, I want to go see the 1974 film version and see how it compares to this new version. But, you know... I will say this, I think Kenneth Branagh and the cast did a wonderful job. I won't say it's brilliant, but I think it's very, very good. It's very, very entertaining, and it's a good time at the movies. So, I liked it. Thumbs up on Kenneth Branagh's 2017 film version of Murder on the Orient Express. All right, and that's my review of Murder on the Orient Express, 2017 style. This is Alan. Thank you so much for watching this, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and of course, I'll be back very soon with another movie review. See you then.